and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we're going to be talking about Lake Oroville it's the daily update and we're going to be talking about the weather as well some people were asking for southern Oregon not a problem at all I haven't got to the comment yet but I did see it and I will talk about southern Oregon and Washington too why not and if you like this video at the end of the video and you think it's worthy of a like please hit that like button and while you're at it if you think it's worthy of a like why not subscribe as well ultimately it's your decision and I appreciate every one of you who have decided to become a follower of mine. That's much appreciated. It's not a must, but it's greatly appreciated if you do. As we roll over to windy.com, we're looking at the live radar. And you can see right here in the middle of the country, they got a system coming through. And they're talking about maybe going to be severe thunderstorms along this front, especially right through here. So be mindful if you live in Louisiana, Mississippi, somewhere in there, that there could potentially be some hazardous storms potential. And you can see that this line's setting up for a major event coming up. Anywhere to the north of Memphis, you'll be okay. There's not going to be miserable storms like like there was a couple weeks ago everything will be fine there and the rest of the country is looking fairly dry there's not a whole lot going on just mainly here and in california so california is what we generally talk about you can see that they had some rain to the south of oroville in the Folsom area today not much going on at lake oroville itself and the thing is starting to dry out there was some rain over at eureka they're they're calling for a lot of rain in los angeles within the next three days there's going to be monster rains over here it's starting to show a little bit of a shift in pattern southern oregon's going to get in we'll talk about that when we get to the rain accumulation and i got some concerns for oroville as i want to go to the snow depth we're going to go to the snow depth real quick as we go to the snow depth here middle feather river watch this this is wednesday this is the potential new snow that's coming you can watch as this thing goes from 60 to 40 check it out so right here we're at 64 so you're going to lose 20 inches just like that then back up but then check this out as we go long range it goes more and then all of a sudden you can see that it drops in the next 10 days to 38 so that means there's going to be a potential melt here that means there's going to be some rain systems coming through instead of new snow possibly that could be more rain systems coming through causing it to be like a fire hydrant so let's go over that one more time right now we'll go over here where it says 60 we'll start there and watch this 59 54 it starts to melt a little bit 51 49 44 you can see it it shifts it melts then it comes back and then it melts and then it comes back and you can watch it fluctuate and then it's 38 so you lose 20 inches and that's two inches of precipitation so therefore the lake will rise rapidly in the next two weeks so how much will it rise it's just hard to say hard to say how much of that is being melted from rain as opposed to snow so we go to the rain accumulation and this is what we got going on the majority of this has to be rain so three inches on top of two inches that's five inches of precipitation now new snow we're only calling for 10 inches so you see what i'm saying 10 inches equals an inch so you minus one inch of that and you got yourself four inches of precipitation in the system here that's going to be run off and it will run off into the lake now check out late chest up here they're calling for six inches of rain and new snow not as much so there's going to be a dramatic increase here and this is what i was talking about this is what happened in february of 2017 when the lake increase so we'll have to keep an eye on that now luckily there's still a lot of room in the reservoir as we cover every day and that is a good thing now somebody asked to cover southern oregon over here so we will do just that over here you got 43 inches and that's new snow and we go to precipitation you can see this all up and down here 8 10 the atmospheric river is shifting to the north a bit instead of to the south which we initially thought would happen most of the winter and it has shifted just a little bit to the north and you can see that it's going to be record snows here again as it was early december and now here it is later in 
it'll be Jan January by the time this hits. You're talking 10 inches of precipitation, and that's probably snow as we go over here. Sure is. And we go to the snow depth, and you can see 55 inches plus 61 more inches. It's going to be a massive amount of snow that's going to hit Washington. And even Seattle's going to get in on the situation here. You're talking 3.4 inches in Seattle. So if you're living in Seattle, Seattle's going to get some more snow within the next 10 days. Victoria, Canada over here, 12.7 Check this, Arlington, 9.2. Olympia down here. My friend Mike lives over there. I know some people that live over in the Washington area. As I traveled, I got some friends that live over in Astoria. Hello, Tracy and Eldon. 3.2 inches over here in Yakima. I got a friend out there named Zach that lives out there. 14 inches. Check that out. So I know people around the country. It's pretty crazy. I want to go down here to Los Angeles. We go back to the rain accumulation, and I want to talk about that. Check this out. 4.0. 07 inches in Los Angeles. It's pretty crazy to think that Los Angeles is going to get four inches of rain, but it's not uncommon this time of year to get that. San Diego, you're talking 0 0.5, and I got some people down there that were asking for it. We go up to Bakersfield. Not going to get a whole lot in Bakersfield. 0 0.2 inches. We go over to Vegas. My buddy Mike is out there currently. 0 0.4. Hello, Mike. And we go over here to Page. 0 0.42. We go up to Grand Junction. Hello, Grand Junction. 0 0.93. Aspen, Colorado. 1.72. Down here, 1.75. And I just remembered I have some people in Arizona that have been begging me to cover it. I got my friend Mike and Crystal who live down there. And Alicia. Hello, y'all. I hope you're doing good. Two inches of precipitation near phoenix phoenix itself 0 0.74 flagstaff up here 1.55 and how much of that is new snow over here not a whole lot flagstaff's going to get the most 1.1 and check this out this is a nice little patch of precipitation and check out denver actually has snow in the forecast yes you were seeing that right 4.7 this is on the other side of the divide just so everybody knows i am aware of that here's where the colorado starts right here 11.5 we go up to the green river up here 48 inches that's fantastic news and that is good news. Somebody asked about Salt Lake City. Hello, Salt Lake City is 1.9. Salt Lake City itself, 6.7 inches. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to check on Lake Shasta as we're at Lake Shasta's water level. And the water level for Lake Shasta is currently 911.93 feet MSL, Wednesday, December 29th, 2021 at 3 p.m. The level is 155.07 feet below full pool of 1,067 and the lake is currently on the rise 0 0.55 feet let's roll over to lake isabella i had a subscriber asked to check on lake isabella water level so we will do that now as we roll over to lake isabella the water level at lake isabella is 2532.73 feet msl wednesday december 29th of 2021 at 4 p.m the level is 32.73 feet above full pool of 2500 now this thing is fairly low compared to where it was it's down 0.5 0.04 feet since yesterday but if you look over here this thing topped off in 2019 at 2000 584.02 feet. I don't know if that's a record or not. I'm not real familiar with Lake Isabella, but somebody asked me to check on it. So here we are. And we are going to go over to Folsom. As one of my subscribers just said that Folsom Reservoir is already being drained to avoid anticipation spring flooding. And I could see why with the radar. It's just coming up. Let's go check out and see what is going on at Folsom. Okay, so Folsom Lake acre feet capacity is 977,000 feet acre feet the current water level is 425.52 feet and this thing's already come up quite a bit it's almost up to 60 percent remember it was like at 58 yesterday so this thing is rising rapidly and the outflows now are 1,592 and the inflows are 6,998 so it's almost 7,000 to 1,600 difference this thing is continuing to rise so we'll be watching that let's roll over to lake orville and see what is going on at their water level the water level at lake orville is 710.03 feet remember it just topped 700 just a couple days ago and you can see this thing really climbing wednesday december 29th 2021 at 4 p.m the level is 189.97 feet below full pool of 900 and 1.5 
846 and I, there is no news on Lake Orville's Hyatt power plant when they're going to have it back online and real quick we will look and see what the inflows are and the outflows and see if they increased any this thing is starting to rise and it's concerning the outflows are still 500 and the inflows are 7462 so this thing's increasing by 6900 this thing is increasing by 6900 plus every day so we will continue to watch it it's going to continue to rise until they get this thing back online when you see this thing start to rise then you know they got it back online as of right now 500 outflow to the inflow is just not going to work so that's all i have for tonight thank you guys for stopping by there's no news on the hyatt power plant i've looked i've looked and i can't find any Anything. Anybody that works at the Hyatt Power Plant that watches my channel, please pipe in and let me know what is going on. Be greatly appreciated. You guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.